welcome to the Hatch Embroidery Software Getting Started series. In the next part of our lesson today, we want to talk about skew, skewing designs. We want to select our design to skew by exact measurements, then we type in the degrees that we want it to skew from. It will be skewed to the right. The same is for rotation. If I type in a negative number, it will skew to the left. As in many of the other functions in the software, you can also do this on screen. We click it once to select. We click on the stitches a second time, and it will turn into now the skewing mode. Well, actually, I can rotate if I change it by the corners or if I use the top and bottom, I will be skewing the design or the letters. These are diamonds. I'll zoom in, you can see them better. And I will move my mouse over, it will turn to a double arrow, and it shows me that I can skew it in either direction. This I'm done. can skew it in either direction. You can also click on the diamond to the bottom and it will skew it. Now notice that it's anchored it at the top and it's skewing the bottom part. If I click on the top diamond, it anchors it at the bottom and it skews from the top. Right. Now, although this is not really skewing for lettering, it will give you a different effect if you use the diamonds on the side. If I click on it, notice that it's going to anchor it in the lower left hand corner. It's actually going to skew or rotate, if you will, from that particular corner. If I click on the diamond on the left, it will anchor it on the right, the bottom does a little different with the design. I am now in the mode that I want to be in. If I click on the diamond on the side, notice that it actually does skew it. A little bit different effect. It still has anchored it in the lower left hand corner. If I click on the left side, it's going to anchor it in the lower right hand corner and it will skew it up or down. The effects you can get just by taking a design and using things like rotate, resizing, skewing, changing the colors can just give you so many different looks from the single design that you may have. As always, be sure to save your design before you finish, before you close it. Save it to a different name if you haven't done that already. Hope you enjoyed learning about rotating and skewing of your design today. It is quite simple in Hatch once you see how to use the tools and when to use your tools. I look forward to seeing you the next time. Thank you for watching. We hope you found this video helpful. Make sure you check out our other videos in the Hatch Getting Started series.